Hey guys, this is Ankit and in this video we are going to talk about SQL queries questions okay which is asked in the cognizant technical assessment okay so SQL queries are common for one two and three cluster all three clusters it's SQL queries are common okay so I have explained in this video SQL queries in the easiest way so that if you have not familiar much in SQL queries you also can able to understand okay and same type of questions are repeating so again I'm saying listen this video very carefully fully and understand that so let's move forward first of all i want to tell the exam pattern for the technical assessment so for the cluster one there will be two sql queries they will give you 35 minutes and two coding questions for the java that is 60 minutes and one web page making uh, questions they will be giving by the help of html CSN, javascript you have to make that is 25 minutes okay cluster 3 also same like cluster 1 just c sharp language they will be giving instead of java okay cluster 2 in cluster 2 you will be having two sql queries 35 minutes for that two coding questions of python for that they will be giving you 70 minutes and 10 questions from the cloud fundamentals they will be giving you 15 minutes for that okay so this is the exam pattern so as you can see the sql queries are the common for the all cluster so irrespective of your cluster you have to prepare for the sql queries okay two sql queries they will be giving you and 35 minutes they will be giving you to complete those sql queries okay so let's move forward so as i said number of questions will be two for the sql queries and 35 minutes they will be giving you and cluster one two and three it's common for all clusters okay so let's move forward how they will be giving you sql queries see here they will be giving you the question okay what the required in the output so as you can read here train id and name of all trains that have name starting with the alphabet m and that go to the station with name pune okay so that's the thing we have to fetch from the sql table and after that uh, train id and train name column should be shown in the output okay so like this schema they will be giving you okay so i will explain each and everything how you have to tackle this okay don't worry don't scare about by seeing this okay so you can see here view schema if you want to see schema you can click on view schema okay if you want to write the query then you have to click on the query section okay so if you click on that query section then you will be finding like this okay this box will be there here you have to write the sql queries you can select different type of version of my sql also okay now if you want to run your query and i want to see the output then you can go to output you first you run the query and after you go to output okay then how it will show so it will show like this okay so it will show like output of the query it will show here okay and uh, what is the query executed that it will show okay whether this query is correct or not okay whether it's correct or whether it's incorrect how you will check that okay so you have to click on the test case when you will click on the test cases okay so it will show here database and with green tick okay if it's coming green tick then your query is right okay if it's coming in the red tick okay something like that then your query is wrong okay so they will be giving you here some uh, reason also why it's failed okay so reason by that reason also you can modify your queries okay so just read that uh, reason if their query is failing okay that's very important task okay so guys this is the actual question which is asked for the cts in the sql section okay what you have to do in this you have to first read this question okay what they have said the employee id types of leave total number of leaves for employees who have taken more than 10 leaves where is the leave type is either casual leave or medical leave okay that's the thing it is saying after that what you have to see here uh, employee id leave type total leaves these three columns you have to print okay first of all first step what you have to do employee id leave type and total leaves these three columns where which table it belongs to okay so you can see here six tables are there we have to find these three columns where it belongs okay so employee id you can see here here employee id we can find leave type you can see here leave type is there total leave total life leave also is here okay so we can use this table as your reference for the writing the sql query okay so what you have to do you have to see here what is the thing is required that you have to write in the select select is a keyword to retrieve the column name okay so column name you will retrieve by the select column information we will retrieve by the select okay what is the column required employee id leave type and total leave so these three col uh, three column name i have written here okay that's it now what you have to write from after from you have to write from which table we are taking this three column so what is the table name here 
you can see a table name is leave info so leave info is the table name here you can see in the red color leave info is the table name so i have written here leave info is the table name okay after that you have to read the uh, question again after what is the question is saying who have taken more than 10 leaves okay so more than 10 leaves means we will use the total leave okay where where we will use the keyword total leaves is greater than 10 okay and after that what is saying the leave type is either casual leave or medical leave okay so i will put and and is the logical end so that this condition should be true and this condition should be true then only this query will work according to this question okay so i use and keyword okay leave type so leave type what they given casual leave or medical leave so in is the keyword which is used for either for this one either for this one okay so this is if in in we are using either it will take cl either it will take ml so any one uh, element it takes okay so leave type in cl or ml so this is our sql query for this question okay so like this you have to go through that first of all what you have to do you have to read the question after reading the question you have to define which table you required okay after that defining the table so this is the table i required for to write my sql query okay you have to write the select keyword select keyword after you have to write which are the column name i required okay so these are the column name i required okay after that from which table you need so this table name you have to write here okay after that see the condition in the question what is the condition who have taken more than 10 leaves so where is the keyword for the condition okay total leaves greater than should be 10 okay after that what is asking where the where the leave is either casual leave or medical leave so for that you write the and keyword and keyword it shows that this condition and this condition both should be same both should be follow and after that leave type should be either casual leave medical leave so leave type in either cl either ml so this is how you have to progress with your sql query question okay so next question we will discuss so coming to next question this is the next question same this is the six tables they given same schema they given okay this is schema and they given some different question okay so first what we have to do first we have to find the employee id employee name and department name and basic these columns are present in which table okay so as you can see employee id i can see here okay employee name i can see here okay after department for department department name i can see in this table okay after basic where is the basic basic i can see in this okay okay so after what we have to do now from here we have to see employee info is the table here and department info is the table here and salary info is the table so three table we have to refer for our right to sql query okay after that first of all we have to write the select keyword so after select keyword what we have to write we have to write the column name which is we required so as we written employee id okay e employee name department name and basic okay what is this ei ei di si i will tell you later first you understand as flow as we understand in the last question okay after that they given from from which table we are taking it so we are taking it from the employee info okay employee info table we are taking it and after that they written ei what is the meaning of ei here so what they are doing here so table name is very big here okay so what they will do for or their convenient they will write the ei okay in the small short form so employee information there so e we took i we took so we written here ei okay employee information so this shows now employee information if you are writing ei means it shows the employee information table okay after that so this employee id what it's showing so employee id is belongs to ei table employee name is belongs to ei table department is belongs to di table and basic is related to with si table where is di table and si table that we will discuss in this next lines okay after what we have to do see some information is here some information is here some information is here what we have to do we have to combine these three information okay so for combining we need join okay we have to combine this three tables means we need join okay after that writing the join 
what's the table we required we required the department info table required for the department name so i written here department info okay after department info we return the short form of da okay so we took the da from here and after we are using the keyword on so on the what basis we are joining that two table this table and this table on the what basis we will join okay so department id i am taking from the ei table so this is our ei table okay so i am taking the department id so department id you can see here i am taking from here and after di i am taking from the department id department id i am taking from the di table so this is the di table okay as you can see here this is the de de, uh, department info table so in that you can see here department id will be there so this is the department id here okay so on the that basis we are going to uh, join this okay after we are join salary info si salary info this is the salary info table is there okay after that si is there si is short form we are written okay on what basis we have to join employee category ei employee category see here you can see here employee category and here also employee category is there okay so on that basis we are going to uh, join this si dot employee category okay so this is the how you can see how we are joining the two tables okay after that you have to read the question again on the working in the hr department okay so where we have to use for the condition di dot department equal to hr okay di what is the di here di is the department okay so department name will be department name is the in the di table so we are using the department name in di table equal to hr so this is how you have to solve the sql queries i try my best to explain you with each and every uh, concept and how you have to tackle if you have don't have sql knowledge much more okay so this is how you have to tackle this uh, question okay let's see in the next question you will get more clarity okay so this is the next question how you have to perform in this so let's see okay so in this they ask employee id employee name department name house rent allowance okay so first of all you have to find in this table which is the where is the employee id so this, this here is the employee id employee name here is the employee name okay where is the department name so department name i can see in this table okay house rent allowance so house rent allowance in this table is there so we have to combine this 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 three tables we have to combine okay as i said for combining we will be using the join okay fine after that what we have to do what we have to do we have to see employee id select keyword we have to use and we have to write this four columns employee id employee name department name house rent allowance okay and it belongs to which table from employee info table employee info table we will be taking from this info okay and we return the short form as a ei okay after we are joining the department info table this is the department info table and we are giving short form as a di so you can see here di is the short form after we are uh, joining on the what basic on the department id of ei department id of ei what is the common board table on the that basis we will be joining the two table department id okay so ei department id and di department id so the di department id and ei table department id will be should be equal then we will be joining for this table okay after next line join join in that salary info so this is the salary info table okay si we given the short form here si on what basis we are joining ei dot employee category ei dot employee category so you can see here the employee category here here also employee category so both are common in the column okay those two tables these two columns are common okay so on that basis we will be joining okay ei dot employee category si dot employee category so this is the si table as you know okay where now we have to see the condition in the question what is the condition in the uh, question so they have asked who work in department located in either bangalore or kochi okay so di dot location so as you can see location column is in di table so we have to write location di from the di table in in we will use uh, for either it's in bangalore either it's in kochi so it is asking like located in either bangalore or kochi so we have written in bangalore or kochi so this is how you have to write for your sql queries and you have to follow up okay if you have less time then just go through this uh, video 
properly once again and try to understand how we are doing okay if you have some less knowledge in sql also you can make a like it take as a like logical reasoning or reasoning type of question and try to solve in that way okay so i hope i um, make you understandable like how you can make uh, sql queries how you can uh, write the sql queries according to that you just try to complete by yourself okay if you want to uh, practice much more then just uh, go through the description below link i have given in that so many questions i have given related to sql queries go through that and try to prepare okay so that's all from my side and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye bye.